from Eclectic Enchantments. Welcome to another week of Nail Art Alphabet. This week we're on the letter M and out of the hat I am absolutely ecstatic that I picked Minions. That was suggested by Karen, I believe. Um, anyone who doesn't know who a Minion is, these are my little Minion teddies. Hmm. Um, so, Minions from the film Despicable Me if you don't know and Despicable Me too. they're absolutely hysterical and that's what we're going to be doing today. The nail varnishes that I'm going to be using today are the W7 in Hip Hop which is a really bright canary yellow, my Rio Nails brush and pens in black and silver and denim in blue from Georgia Asda. It's actually quite a good little nail varnish and I've actually kicked us off by um, doing two coats of the yellow onto the nails to get us started. I'm actually going to be painting two separate minions today. Um, there's various different kinds of minions but most of them you can tell the difference between the fact that they've got two eyes or one eye. Um, I really like the grumpy one-eyed one who I think is called Dave, possibly. So we're going to start with a bright canary yellow base as the skin because that's the colour that they are and then the next thing we want to be doing is to paint his little dungarees. Uh, they all seem to wear blue dungarees. Okay. So I haven't practiced this. Whether or not it comes out okay is obviously going to be seen. So I'm just doing a bit of a dungaree shape just to get the basic form. If I was painting these on my actual nails, I would generally put um, the ones with two eyes onto your smaller nails because they're actually a lot shorter than the ones with one eye who are quite tall. And we just need to do... shoulder bits. Now granted I'm not doing the best job at the moment, hopefully it'll all come together. And we need to let that dry. And while that's drying we can make a start on the eyes. Now the one-eyed fellow is who I'm doing first and I rather like him when he's being grumpy. So they wear these, they remind me of aviator goggles and I'm going to start by doing the big round section I'm doing this at an awkward angle I'm trying to um, make it so that you can see a lot better than on my previous videos okay so that's that bit and then I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow around the edge and then the bands that hold it on. And then we will let that dry but while that's drying I'm just going to do his grumpy little mouth.
So I realised that I also need the white from the Rio set just to fill out the bottom half of his eye. And then while that's drying, I'm just going to add the little minion badge onto his dungarees. And he has a little part in at the top. camera sorry and just add a little bit of detail the little hands and then the last bit is the grumpy eye and there we have minion number one the second one that I want to do I think is called Kevin and he has two eyes this time but I'm going to do him slightly differently because in the second film he actually is wearing a French maid's outfit. So I'm going to do an attempt at him in his French maid's outfit. So we're going to start with doing his little skirt or dress I should say that comes up. and over and then some little frills at the bottom and then we just need to colour that in nearly there and by doing the yellow background you just need to literally draw on the outfits rather than trying to fill everything in with the yellow which could prove difficult because yellow can be quite thin as an owl varnish and you need quite a few coats to build it up so we just need to let that dry and while that's drying we're going to add his hat so he has a little frilly white hat on the top and we'll need to add just a little bit of definition to that maybe not quite as much as what I have done but I think I may have made a bit of a mess of the hat. There we go. And while that's all still drying, I'm going to add on his eyes first. Two big white. eyeballs and again everything needs to dry the next step is going to be adding the glasses again which is just another silver band around the edge in the best circle I can manage which might not be very good and another one Now he doesn't have half opened eyes because he's not grumpy. The next bit is to add the band. It just goes down the side of the head. And 
hopefully, if it comes out, there we go. And then, here's a happy little smile. And I just want to make sure that the black has fully dried first before I do the next stage. Now the final part of this particular minion is to add on his little apron and collar. So first of all, I need a little line going across the waist. And then he's got a little apron. just needs to be filled in with the little frills around the edge. Now I haven't done a particularly tidy job of it so I just need to flick out a few little bits just dab a little there. and the final part is a little bow and then there's a little tiny bit that comes down there And he's finished. I'm just going to go over the hat a little bit more because I wasn't particularly pleased with how it came out. And there we have it. I hope the tutorial was okay for you and that you think they've come out okay. I think that they're quite sweet. I like the grumpy one the best. Um, the nail varnish that I've been wearing today is Barry M's Jelly High Shine Nail Paint and the colour is GNP3 Watermelon. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm going to be doing a review on the blog at some point in the near future with that. So I've been Erica from Eclectic Enchantments and I hope you've liked Nail Art Alphabet letter M. Don't forget to leave me your suggestions for the letter O which will be the next one that I shall be filming. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.